All right, so we're back, finish up here. Um, so he's just, you know, whatever, same old crap. Um, <laughs> just, yeah, I've done this, I did that. So I said somewhere in here about the production costs, and so he's going to argue this. And so I'm just saying, everybody who's, who has smoked knows that production cost of cigarettes is dirt cheap. We know how much cigarettes cost in 1970. We know how much it cost in 1980. We know what the price of cigarettes should be, and at worst, it should be eight bucks for a carton of cigarettes. That's with a nice, huge profit for the producers of the cigarettes. And the reason why they cost eighty dollars or seventy-five dollars is because of all the fees the government has imposed. So let's play the game. Maybe you should stop bitching when I do them. The eight minutes. Under your guys. Section back. of it, you screamed at me and said I was quoting the Constitution out of context which is why I've been so careful to quote huge chunks of things before and after what I'm actually yeah, talking about, Gary, part. because you tried to claim that I quoted the Constitution out of context. Uh, you might have remembered that, Gary, but, well, you won't. That's you're another idiot. claim you're making that didn't happen. That. Yeah, no, and it didn't happen. A long section of the Constitution, just so I could quote one specific clause, because Gary claimed I... Yeah, that's just a pile of crap. <laughs> that never happened. Dream on took it out of context. So I quoted, quoted not only uh, that entire section, I quoted the section before it and the, and the section after it. Um, so that's why I've spent so much time quoting things in such length, Gary, because you accuse me... Right. Uh, you didn't quote accurately from the tax document. You didn't quote accurately from the uh, Pennsylvania amnesty law. ...of taking things out of context. And then when I do quote things to prove that it's not out of context... You bitch at me and say I should just only quote the most absolute important part. So I'm sorry, Gary. If you oh, whatever. I don't bitch that heavy. I'm just saying that you you've made five, six, seven, eight what eight hours of video. I'm just saying you could have maybe knocked it down a little bit by not just redundantly reading the part that everybody knows is not terribly relevant. But go, who cares? I don't care. Go ahead, whatever. I do my videos. Maybe you should stop bitching when I do them. The Eight minutes. Under the United States Constitution, you motherfucking cut. Motherfucking cut. Specifically, the 14th Amendment. Uh, 14th Amendment is a new amendment, also, and... Well, it's not new like yesterday. It's not new night before 1950 or 1940 when those court decisions were rendered and the, the court decisions the judge cited. The court decisions the judge cited as legal precedent, okay, certainly weren't before the 14th Amendment. So that's a bogus argument, and they were certainly after, they were certainly were before the Civil Rights Act. And so, yeah, you don't know how the 14th Amendment works. Uh, go fuck yourself. No, you do shotgun, it. Hopefully. Yeah, fuck you, Matt. <laughs> well, good, so I can say the same kind of thing to you, right? Go fuck yourself with, oh yeah, just do your regular behavior. That moment. That'll take care of you. Okay, so he's saying a $3,000 tax on a poor man making $10,000 a year is not a prohibitive tax. Well, you just revealed how much money you made, Gary, so... No, I was talking about the average minimum wage uh, worker, okay? So, whatever, but that's fine. I'm just saying you think that $3,000, that's how much it should cost somebody to smoke cigarettes in the United States of America. A country is supposed to be about freedom and all this crap. It's just a big fat lie. You're not free. You're free to be a slave to, um, you know, the people who do have the rights, the people who retain liberty. Yeah, and you had made that, you revealed that in earlier videos, too. So, yeah, oh well, sucks to be you. Yeah, bullshit. You and, also, also and also, you don't need cigarettes to live, so just don't smoke. Right, so that's your decision to make for me. I don't get to say, fuck you, asshole, okay? You don't need homosexual sex to live, so don't be a homo. <laughs> I mean, fuck, no problem. 100 and whatever, 94%. Um, so, yeah, the so production cost of a pack of cigarettes is 75%. Nope. Okay, so he's saying the production cost with profit of a pack of cigarettes is not 75 cents. I went to three different websites to get the analysis, one Canadian site, two American sites. Um, it's, you know, clear what the production cost was. Well, certainly before all of this crap started, it was certainly clear. Um and, you know, it's it's written right down there that, you know, the production cost for whatever, it was 2,000 cigarettes and it was 10 bucks. And so you add profit of even three, even if you tripled profit, it still would be 75 cents if you marked it up three times. So there, there's no argument. That's not a, it's not a reasonable argument. 
the production and the cost of cigarettes have not gotten more expensive. Tobacco isn't more expensive to grow. The processing machines are even more automized than, uh, automized than ever. Uh, so this is just a lie. I mean, 75, per, 75 cents is a high price for the production and cost of cigarettes. I mean, if we had a free market, I'm sure there'd be like Chinese processed cigarettes that would be 35 cents a pack. I'm sure. I'm sure if we sent tobacco in tankers to China and had them process them into cigarettes, they'd come back to this country at 35 cents a pack. You goddamn know it. Production cost is about how much it costs to actually sell it. Uh, no, you don't fucking buy shit it costs, Gary. There's a profit. Yeah, I understand all that, and I said that in my video. I said the words profit in my video, so fuck you. Well, I guess you didn't see that video before this video, because it's the second half of your video that isn't in response to my first video, well, it doesn't matter. And it's funny, because I actually quoted um, a tobacco company talking about how much money goes to the government versus how much money goes to the tobacco company, and funny that, it's not fucking 800% or whatever. Well, the, the producers aren't the, the, the retailers, are they? And the producers don't pay the sales tax, do they? And they don't pay all the other fees that are excise tax, do they? No, they pay certain taxes at the at the producer, and then there's the fees, the the lawsuit um, bullshit. Okay, that's a that's a huge part of it. Um, you know the big part that they they slid out to get out of the legal liability. Um, so they're not counting that as part of the cigarette price, but obviously they're passing that price on to the consumer. So same difference to the consumer, right? Maybe it doesn't cost the tobacco companies anything, but it certainly costs the consumer something. Or it's not some massive number going to the government and then like a little tiny thing. Uh, so I quoted how much the tax, because of the, I fucking dealt with the tax issue repeatedly. Jerry doesn't know what he's talking about. All right. Yeah, I'd just love to see you come up with some contrivance where you come up with a the free market, uninterfered with by government price of a pack of cigarettes is something over 75 cents with profit. I don't see how you could possibly do that. That would be preposterous. But of course, you are a liar. So I'm sure you'd give it a shot. Why don't you ask the CDC to do it for you? I'm sure their analysis could come up with something that wacky. Um, on any subject, so let's keep going. Thirty dollars and fifty cents for a name brand pack of cigarettes is obviously a thousand percent pack. What's the point? No, it's not. Let's pretend. So Gary doesn't understand profit essentially too. Uh, Gary thinks that any any added cost is if it. Well, like I said, I already dealt with this in the other video, so whatever. Blah, 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 blah. We'll just we'll pass over this. There's no point. I already stated profit versus production cost versus the websites are there. Fuck you. You're an idiot. Yeah, I mean, really. There's no... How can you rationally... Come on, just just accept that I paid $3.33 when I was 11 years old for a carton of cigarettes, 10 packs of cigarettes. There'd be no way you could say with any other thing in the world. You know, that's in 1970-whatever. <laughs> you know, one. Um, so in 1971, that was the price. And just, just take everything else in the world and its price inflation, okay, which might be three or four times. So even at that high a number, which most produced items, I mean small items, get cheaper, not more expensive, because the production costs go down because of automation. So there's a huge tendency to push that price down. I mean, obviously, cigarette packs don't have, you know, DVD players in them, and they don't have, like, surround sound music systems, so they haven't got, like, crazy expensive like cars. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Even cars, you know, in 1977, you paid six, seven grand for a good car. Anyway... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, we'll just move on to the next pile of crap. All right, so now let's get to, you know, it's a, an argument about principle, so he's complaining because I made the slippery slope argument, which is a perfectly valid argument about circumstances regarding principle, and the Constitution's all about principle. So slippery slope arguments are quite valid. Um, so anyway, he says I want to tax meat. I don't, I've never suggested an 800% tax on meat. Um, and um, again, that's a separate issue in the sense that we're not talking about doing it for your own good. We're not taking your liberty away because we're playing mommy state. We would take your liberty away because you're abusing animals. Yeah, you can't abuse animals. That's the problem there. Um, so if you can come, sum up, come up with some way to eat meat without abusing animals, then I'll say fine. Anesthetize them, put them in a persistent vegetative state, and then go ahead and chomp, chomp, nom, nom. But you don't want to pay the real price to do it humanely. 
And that's the problem. So, yeah, I force you to do it humanely, which is don't abuse sentient creatures. Um, and the only other argument about the kid thing is that it's their expense. I'm not defending... I'm not saying that to, to people who have kids should be taxed more. I'm just saying you shouldn't be taxing people who don't have kids for the reproductive decisions of people who do. All right? I'm just saying they shouldn't be subsidized. I'm not arguing that the government should subsidize the health insurance costs of smokers, you know, if they go out to buy health insurance. And the fact is, you know, if they really did do that, if they took all the regulation crap out of that whole industry, you know, um, insurers would be perfectly satisfied in insuring cigarette smokers, um, up to pretty advanced ages because they know that most of them aren't going to die until they're 67 years old. <laughs> yeah. So, you're just so full of shit. Because it's now separate and equal, and then, okay, Gary, well, again, you want to tax meat eaters differently, you want to tax people with kids differently, and you think that they should pay a lot more in taxes than everyone else, and they should be... No, I don't think they should be taxed extra for anything. They should just not be able to expose... Uh, people who don't have kids to the liability for their having kids. They should pay for their choice to have kids. I'm all for me paying the cost of me smoking cigarettes. That is, I don't need your health insurance. I don't need any of that crap. I'll pay for my vice. And I'm, that's all I'm saying. I'm the one saying, you get out of my fucking business, cunt. You especially get out of my business at $3,000. You're going to charge me $3,000 a year to be the mommy? Fuck you. I mean, hard. The only ones responsible for paying for the social costs of child health care and public education. Um, what was the other one? There's yeah, again, no, yeah, why should I have any obligation to pay for somebody's reproductive choice? That's their choice. They want to make a mess, let them clean up the mess. Let them pay for the mess. It's all on them. Another one. Oh, yeah, you also support... Again, you, 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 there's no way you could prove that cigarette smokers cost the economy more money. And the exact opposite can be proved by any kind of honest analysis. They collect less Social Security, less Medicare, uh, less pensions. It's just a fact. They don't die when they're 22. They, oh, the vast majority die sometime after they're 65, 80% of them. So this is all just a big lie, a big mommy state lie. Station. So, again, you're all for discriminating against different groups and treating them differently in the tax code. Um, no, I'm all for exactly the opposite. I'm all for you minding your own business, and I'm for protecting animals from abuse. Yes, I'm for protecting sentient creatures from your abuse. When, you're, when you approve of it. So, go fuck yourself, Gary. Again, you're a hypocrite. No, go drop dead. You're a fucking and ugly. Separate and forgotten. And that's how you create the evil. And it's the principle you violated right at the start nope. that's the important principle. So yep. So that really is the deal. You know, as soon as you say, as soon as you say that you're going to open this bigotry door and say that somehow these people are different because there's not as many of them, and that's all you did here. That's all this is about. You know that if 50% of the people still smoke cigarettes, there's no way this would pass. There's no way this shit would go on. And it's only because you have an abusable minority that you're abusing it. And that's it. There's no principle here involved whatsoever. It's just plain, simple, majority, extortion, and exploitation. That's it. That's it. We're your fucking slaves. You just declared us your fucking slaves and you'll steal 3000 bucks a year from us. Period. And I say, fuck you. That's not America. It's not decent. It's a lousy, rotten, crappy, shitty, sack of shit bullshit. Okay, is that they are somehow a, a a class of human that you can treat differently? A li well, yeah, you just did, but I thought you said that you weren't opposed to the idea of taxing people differently, Gary. I thought you said we could treat different classes of no, people. I, no, I just you know different classes of people, right? No, that's not. Yeah, so exactly. No, similarly situated have to be treated similarly. That's all. That's the argument in the Supreme Court. You can't be a wide divergent in how you treat. Similarly situated people, vice is, people have different vices and all these vices have negative impacts and they need to be, there needs to be a, a closer um, um, connection between them. And the only, and the reason why one is way over there is because it's the one with the fewest members. Fatty. If they're not these protected classes differently depending on the situation. I thought you had already admitted that, and I thought you said that you weren't saying that you didn't. Uh, I thought you were 
I thought you had already conceded that you could tax different things and different activities and different people differently uh, depending on what they were doing. Similar. Again, I'm not going to argue. Similar situations have to be treated similarly. That's what the fucking Supreme Court said. It's quite obvious what they're saying. Things in the same class or category are treated the same. Okay? There's a category called vice. The, one, the vices that are uh, detrimental to society are in one category. Now let's put those categories, those vices, um, overeating, uh, alcohol, tobacco, even other illicit drug use you could put in there. Lots of things that go in that category. Um, yeah, and let's treat them evenly. Not exactly the same, but evenly. But now here, now here, that's apparently equivalent to the Holocaust. Interesting. Yeah, well, it's, you know, again, you can say that's the, I'm making an equivalency argument. I'm just pointing out there's, this is the principle. All right, once you fuck the principle, yeah, eventually it just leads to doom, okay? Again, where does this end? We already see it doesn't end, right? New York State gets a shortfall in their budget. They go run to the cigarette tax. So we just see that, that how, how it just gets more and more invidious and insidious. And considering that this is an addictive sus substance, the most addictive substance known to mankind, um, it's even more preposterous to do this to people to sit there and tax them out of an addictive liberty. I, I mean, it, it really. That's just fucking disgusting. I mean, to get rid of heroin acts, why don't you just tax them? You know, just show up and say, look, you now owe $500,000 in back taxes for your heroin use. Yeah, so keep using heroin. We'll, get, we'll put you in bigger and bigger debt. That'll solve your problem, won't it? That'll get you off the, the, the stuff. Yeah, sure it will. You can treat differently. Because you're the majority, and they're a minority. Period. Nope, that's not how it works. No, that's exactly how it works, exactly as I proved in the court case. Obviously, I got no response. I claimed bigotry, got no counter-argument, nothing. They provide nothing, no explanation why cigarette smokers are treated differently, although they're in a similar class with these other vice offenders. No explanation, no nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Holocaust and don't even think it you know, really happened. So here's his... Well, again, so then I'm back on this Holocaust thing. You're saying I don't think the Holocaust ever happened. I, you know, there's a point where I'm just going to say, okay, fuck it. I just won't use the Holocaust as an example of harm anymore. Maybe that'll make all these people happy. Okay, I can use the Native American Holocaust as an example of human bad human behavior towards humans. Okay, so that's all right. I'm just saying that if you, you people want to call me a Holocaust denier because I'm totally sympathetic to the horror that was imposed on Jews in terms of the worst possible torture. I mean, if they just gassed them, you could say, shit, it's awful, but, you know, at least it was quick. All right? But, I mean, a real Holocaust is when you torture the fuck out of people. But you don't, you don't think so. Okay, you think it's worse if they gassed them. Okay. Or is your argument that the whole intent from the very start was to gas the Jews? Okay, that's your theory. And if I don't accept that exact theory, I'm a Holocaust denier. Okay, you want to play those by those rules, you're going to end up with one fucking ugly argument. Because you can't demonstrate, you can't prove, so you're just propagandists. That's all you are. You're really evil truthers. So, I mean, we can just take you, you we can just slander the fuck out of you people. Lie. You're a lie. You pedophile. Your mother's fucking pedophile. You're a fucking pedophile. No doubt about it. You're a fucking kid. Gary's accusing me of being a pedophile. Oh, yeah, that's right. You look like a pedophile, so I say you're a pedophile. You have as much evidence of my Holocaust denial as I have evidence of your pedophilia. Uh oh. Understand? Yeah. Click mistake there. My bad. Well, you're stupid, Gary. But that is the, that is the whole argument. Once you violate constitutional principles, once you fucking throw the Fourteenth Amendment away, okay, it hasn't happened yet. It's <laughs> yeah, yet. I'm sorry, it's in the garbage. Okay, it was thrown in the garbage by the judge. The appeals court didn't care to hear it. I wasn't even allowed to argue it in the case, so let's not even fool ourselves. Okay, yeah, I couldn't argue my own constitutional rights in in a state court. Uh, they violated my right to argue my constitutional right. So, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Funny. Then it's a way. It's gone. Well, excuse me. Hasn't happened yet, at least uh, in reference to Gary's case. Want to make that clear. Fine. Okay. You find, you, you, why don't you do it for this 
in this case... Well, you can't even find the argument in the judge's decision where he said the differential in treatment is consistent with 14th Amendment protections. He didn't even acknowledge the differential in treatment. So there's no... Yeah, exactly. There's no point. Then when the next case comes up in the next case, it's so much easier just to slide, keep sliding them down that hole. Slippery slope. So once you, once you justify it, then yes, yeah, well, you're going to get more of it. That's the way the law works. Once the backsliding, the slippery slope, these aren't concepts that people aren't familiar with. Once you let it start rolling, it will snowball into fucking... So now Gary is basically making the argument uh, that Rick Santorum makes about legalizing gay marriage. In disaster. Yeah, cool. I'm all for it now, okay? I'm all for whacking the gays, okay? Let's just whack every minority until they wake up and smell the shit, okay, of, of majority oppression. So if you, can't, if you can't acknowledge what took place here, what's taking place here now in the extortion and exploitation of cigarette smokers, if you can't acknowledge the simple truth that it is just majority abuse, um, then, yeah, you don't deserve any fucking rights. Fuck you. And that's my accusation against you fucking cunt. You have no principles. You have no honor. You have no integrity. Um, I have some principles. Um, I don't know if I have honor or not. And I have some integrity, but all three things you lack in their entirety. You are just lying, conniving, nope. petty, motherfuck. Conniving, maybe, petty, yes. And petty file. Pedophile, no. Pedophile, but it's okay. Looking at my reply to the judge's salvo batter. And the reason why I am looking up the reply to the, the, the reply to uh, what Gary's about to say is because he basically said he had said this, like, really great, witty thing in reply to the judge when he didn't. And that was the point. Uh, I was pointing out that, you know, Gary, again, is to feel free to paraphrase shit however he wants. But then, um... Seems to have a problem and other people paraphrase him. So let's just keep going at this, shall we? And we have about mm, four minutes left. Three argument. And um, this should be pretty His good. reply was, quote, okay, that's my argument, I guess, for the record, regarding whether or not you think I have the credibility to stipulate that the tape recording I have of our previous conversation has not been altered or in any way changed. It's four minutes or so long. I have it here ready to play digitally. And if it's admissible as evidence, I would like... Four minutes, right? It's only a four-minute tape recording. So that's what you said in reply, Gary. You didn't fucking say anything witty in my... <laughs> yes. <laughs> the point is, I don't have to be witty, okay? I just said, let me... Well, again, well, I, I don't know why I'm pausing here. I already explained what I was trying to... What I said, uh, you know, since Gary didn't play it. Well, well let's understand, okay? This is an off-the-record conversation where the judge told me I don't have constitutional rights and basically was wasting my time informing me of some amnesty law, which isn't his fucking goddamn job. All right? His job is to umpire a constitutional dispute about the right of the state to take $3,000 from me, or the right of the government's to take $3,000 from me. Okay, that's what the argument's about. And this judge couldn't do his job. And on top of that off-the-record bullshit, okay, and the fact that the Attorney's General Office is supposed to be sending him copies of every piece of paper she sends to me, well, how come she didn't copy him on that piece of paper? How come? All right, and then on top of that, he won't let the record include this critical piece of evidence where he tells me I don't have constitutional fucking rights in his court. Now, why shouldn't that be part of the goddamn record of the case? Oh, yeah. It's only four minutes long, remember. Four fucking minutes. Oh, that's right, because he doesn't want to hear it again because he knows he's out of his fucking goddamn gourd pulling that crap. Submit this tape recording as evidence of your incompetence. Let me put it into the record. He's so You're calling me and sorting me out of your court. This. Yeah, well, I'm angry because, yeah, just calculate. This through the last 10 years of cigarette taxes I've paid, and it comes out to a good twenty or 30000 fucking dollars. You don't think you get... I, well, maybe, like I said, maybe that doesn't mean anything to you, but it means something to me, fucker. And I also want my liberty back. I don't like having to use all this fucking plastic shit. It's dirt cheap. It's costing me less than cigarette smoking used to cost me, okay? But I'd rather just light a cigarette. And I should have that fucking right in America, run by the fanny packing, uh, you know, turd shit fuckers. Fanny packing shit fuckers now own this country. 
So yeah, I'm all for the whatever. Find somebody who wants to bash the fanny pack and shit fuckers, and let's bash the fuck out of them. And saying preposterously stupid things like you don't have jurisdiction over constitutional issues. So let me put that in the record. And the judge denied me that. I requested it, and he denied me the right to put it in the record. So there you go, cunt ball. I think it's pretty witty. I think it was pretty clever. Okay, so you're laughing, but you're the guy who lied about your five lawyer friends. I'd love to see what your five lawyer friends have to say about a judge saying he doesn't have jurisdiction over constitutional issues that I can't argue my constitutional rights in his court. So just keep laughing. Hey, look, here's the evidence of you being a fucking jackass. Maybe it should be part of the record of this fucking motion for your refusal. Maybe the evidence of your stupidity and clownery and nonsense and bullshit should be fucking recorded. It should be played. Everybody should hear you saying things that are fucking... Right, so you, you people really don't think that... It, Court cases should be on the record. We should just throw a big chunk of it off the record. We should decide important cases in back rooms without any smoke in them, of course. High school kids in a civics class should know. Oh, man. Ironic, since you've never been into a fucking high school or a civics class. Three minutes. I think that's a lie, too. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Liar. <laughs> Pedophile. You fucking thought wrong. Pedophile. 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 So you could cut this shit out and save us all some time. Whatever. Are you going to get okay, to the so summary that's, judgment that's, part? Again, more mockery of this whole idea that we should have justice. You're no, it's a mockery of the fact that you're an idiot, not the idea that we should have justice. Again, I've already spoken to this ad nauseum. Yeah, uh, so I mock you. Fuck you. All right, I'll wait till he gets to something new. Hey, and Gary, I really hope you're enjoying the cigarette tax because. Yeah, guess what? I haven't paid cigarette taxes in three years, idiot. Oh, I'm the idiot, and you're the one who just admitted, again, to cheating on your taxes. Cheating how? I don't smoke cigarettes retard, okay? I have maybe, on average, I don't know, two cigarettes a week, maybe? Okay? I e-smoke. Lots of varieties of e-cigarette. I enjoy my nicotine in liquid form that is untaxed. Yeah, right. And the government is trying to stop people from doing that. They prevent eBay from selling the nicotine products because they don't want the competition with their taxed products. And although, like I said, this has worked, it's, it's satisfied my addiction, uh, it hasn't satisfied my desire to have my liberty back. My 40-year enjoyable addiction to cigarettes has been interfered with by you motherfucking cunts, and I thoroughly fucking resent it. Because you have no right, no constitutional right, no uh, interest of yours is involved whatsoever except stealing money from poor people. And that's what you fuckers are about. And so, yeah, fuck you. So, again, you got a fact wrong again. You accuse me of tax cheating when there is no cigarette tax on liquid nicotine. Fuck you, cunt. And I'm the idiot. Good job, Gary. No, well, you're an idiot for not knowing that the e-cigarette's been around for, like, six years. So I guess you are an idiot. Yes. Okay. I know. Your friend Matt paying cigarette taxes. Fifty cents. Ask your... Yeah, well, yeah, I'm sure Matt can do the math and figure out he's paying a lot more than fifty cents for cigarette taxes to different government agencies uh, extracted through different methods. And I'm sure Matt can figure out to take a, take a minor look at history and figure out that a pack of cigarettes really shouldn't cost anything like even a dollar, let alone four dollars. Friend Matt, if he enjoys paying them. Uh, I will. I will ask Matt, and when he's on site, and I will copy and paste what his direct response into the description of this video, uh, depending on when you watch this video. Yeah, okay, so let's do that one again just for the fun of it. Um, Matt said... Um, 
Me. Hey, Matt. Are you fine with cigarette taxes? Napalm. Uh, we'll call him. Let's. Well, let's change. The, the edible ta tampon doesn't really work. So let's use edible strap-on. Because, yeah, that does work, right? I mean, they do make edible strap-ons for people, you know, queeros like you. So, yeah, that would fit. Um, I don't give a fuck. Okay, whatever. Uh, you know, so I'm, I'm supposed to have some sort of respect for Matt's intelligence. You know, he doesn't mind paying thousands of dollars in taxes to do something as stupid as just smoking fucking cigarettes. Well, if you're that, if you don't mind, then you're too, you're just, you are too stupid. That's just too fucking stupid. I mean, anybody who doesn't mind $2,000 being pulled out of their pocket for having a cigarette in their living room in the United States of America, you're one sick motherfucker. I mean, I can understand a bunch of anti-smoking assholes not getting it. But but for a cigarette smoker not to get it, Jesus. You know, that may or may not be in the description uh, when you originally watch it, but just check back, and it will be in there. Real exciting. Yeah, it's very exciting. Well, you're an addict, and I'm not. Yeah. So, so if, what a response. You're an addict and I'm not. So that's how he deals with people's rights. So I can just say, you're gay and I'm not. So, yeah, wh where's my problem here? Oh, yeah, I don't have one. <laughs> yeah. So fuck you guys. Oh, I can say that to Matt, too. You'd appreciate that. Okay, I will say it to Matt. Matt is addicted to cigarettes and I am not. Right, and he's a drug user. Let's, let's make, keep pointing that one out, too, because we got to do the right thing, right? Because it's the moral majority states of America. He's also an atheist. And I made fun of Matt for being addicted to cigarettes. And, in fact, I actually tried to... Well, well, that's absolutely brilliant. Let's go make fun of somebody for being addicted to cigarettes. I mean, in a sense, you should make fun of him, because here's another evidence of Matt not being too fucking bright. I mean, most people start smoking cigarettes when they're dumb fucking kids. I mean, I have to admit, I was just a dumb, arrogant asshole and said, I ain't gonna get addicted, I ain't gonna get addicted, right? Because I was 11 fucking years old. I mean, Matt started smoking when he's a fucking adult. He's seen the fucking casualties all over the fucking road from cigarettes. He's seen the desperate people sh sticking patches all over their fucking face to try to, you know, quell their addiction, right? And, and this asshole picks up cigarettes. Yeah, that makes him an asshole, an idiot, a moron. Same category as Pyro, of course. He had to quit at one point by making fun of him about it and saying he didn't have the willpower to do it. And he was like, fuck you, Rob, I'll show you, and then he couldn't do it. Uh, so yeah, Matt is addicted to cigarettes, and I don't think he has a problem with me saying that he's addicted to cigarettes. And, well, he hasn't had any complaints about my videos about the cigarette stuff so far. Right, okay, I'm just saying, that, okay, Matt has a completely different way of living than I do. I'm not independently wealthy. I have to work for $10 an hour to make money, all right? I have to work, I mean, real fucking work. I mean, something you don't know anything about, but yeah, real labor. I mean, scrubbing floors and shit, real nasty shit sometimes to make my fucking money for my goddamn ha habits. Anything I have, any computer I have, any extras I have, I have to go to work for $10 an hour to have that shit. So yeah, I don't appreciate 3000 bucks going south. For bullshit. And as far as I know, he's watched them all in their entirety. Um, yeah, just, you know, really. Good. Yeah, and so I, well, I got nothing to say. Like I said, I mean, good riddance to shitty tampons. No, one minute. Gary, I don't care if he Photoshop. Uh, Gary's going to start talking about arguing from Photoshop. And as I pointed out again in one of my videos that Gary has yet to watch, uh, I have never once argued from Photoshop. I have put up... Oh, sorry. No no sale, fathead. Okay. All right. You, you put the Photoshop image of me up first. I didn't bring Photoshop to this argument. You did. So, so don't play that game, asshole. Yes, as thumbnails... Uh, oh, yeah, well, it's thumbnails. Yeah, the thing that's all over YouTube, right? It's the thumbnail, shithead. Uh, wh wh what other Photoshop should I be concerned about but a thumbnail, shithead? What, uh, wow, I would worry if there's 30, uh, 30 seconds or 3 seconds in a video? No, that doesn't really make any difference. Dancing in Mendems or something? Who the fuck cares? Well, I care, but it's who cares? Yeah, it's the fucking the icons that are littered all over the place. It's the problem. Oh, yeah, fuck you with this rationalization for your first strike bullshit.
shots of Gary that I find amusing, but I have never argued that they're not an argument, Gary. So, Gary... Yeah, well, I'm not... I'm using it as a metaphor. The argument from Photoshop just means that we just, instead of arguing something real, we waste our time in Photoshop mocking each other. And I say that's a waste of motherfucking cunt time. And only dumbasses start that kind of war. That goes another one of these slippery slopes, isn't it? Another thing that can go nowhere positive, has no positive potential whatsoever, okay? And you assholes have to bring it to the table. And you brought it to the table, asshole, quite obviously. I doesn't understand the, the difference between an insult, a joke at his expense, and an argument. I have never once said... Uh, you're wrong on cigarettes because you're all what fifty percent of your fucking videos are just mocking bullshit. You sat there and just laughed through three minutes of the video. What what the fuck? You're, you're making arguments? No, you're just fucking insulting me, you jackass. Googly eyed anime picture. I've not said that, Gary. You're the only one who's tried to make that as a claim. So again, you're a fucking retard. Starts the photoshopping thing, and now he. I didn't start the photoshopping thing. Uh, Damon Colm actually did. <laughs> well, I don't understand. It's on your video, right? I've only photoshopped people who have had videos to me that photoshopped me. Okay, asshole. You bring it to me, I'll bring it back to you. That's all I can say. So anybody who photoshops me in their video in the icon, I will give you the same treatment back. And it's just the icon, right? Bitch, bitch, much. Okay, I I don't have a whole bunch of it. I I show the icons in the in the um video, but I'm not sitting there gloating over the Photoshop. I mean, I can animate them. I could make a whole video of your dickhead going up Hannibal's dickhead going up the other guy's dick <laughs> head. Uh, but I'm definitely continuing it. And some of you may have noticed the thumbnail for this video, for those of you who don't understand. Yeah, so you stole somebody else's art. You stole a really magnificent movie. And just shit on it. You graffitied on 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 a piece of Americana, a, a a piece of you know cherished literature and great movie making. And you fucking you abused it. You wiped your ass with it. Like it's like taking the United States Constitution, wiping your ass with it, and then shoving it up on the screen and drawing a happy face that looks like Gary in it. That's what you did, you stupid cunt. You know, you can't even you can't even do anything original. You can't even use your own materials. You got to steal somebody else's material, steal my material, and co combine them together. I mean, well, how bogus can you guys get? And that is a uh, thumbnail. It comes from. I mean, it's like Thunderfoot stealing the, the South Park clips and the SpongeBob clips. It's somebody else's creativity, somebody else's great joke, and he's just writing on it. I mean, that's just such bull fucking shit. Uh, to kill a mockingbird, and it is Gary as both Atticus Finch and as Robinson, which is very uh, fitting, seeing as how Gary not only represented himself, but he lost. Besides, okay, let's do this. Yeah, because of uh, a corrupt system, right? I lost not for any good reason, correct? Right, exactly like in To Kill a Mockingbird, I didn't lose because I lost the trial. The evidence was clear. I lost because the jury, in that case, uh, was a bunch of bigoted assholes. There you go. Bigotry wins. Nice guys finish last because you fuckers still have a vote. Yeah, let's encourage more photoshopping. That's yes, let's encourage more photoshopping of Gary. That's not my argument. I'm just saying, I'm not my argument either. I'm well, quite obviously, if you keep backsliding away from it, you've actually encouraged people in your comment section or description to do it. So, so what the fuck is this shit? I mean, rewrite history much? I just think it's really funny, and I think we should, if, you know, if you're that butthurt over a fucking Photoshop, then yeah, people... Uh, yeah, asshole, look, it's only been since I've been on YouTube, right? And yeah, I'm a little butthurt about it because, yeah, the most famous little Photoshop is all this Holocaust denier shit, which is a fucking goddamn lie, and I find it really, really, really slanderous, all right? So I'm going to start putting little kid dicks in your mouth next, fucker, and we'll see how you like that. Maybe a little voiceover going, Suck it some more, will you please? <laughs> yeah, how would you like that? Of you for it, Gary? Reluctantly done it. I said, okay, we're going to do the argument from Photoshop. Oh, no one's done that. Okay, I'll play. I don't want to do it, 
<laughs> I'm clearly protesting. I'm clearly saying I don't think this is a good idea. And you're the asshole who's encouraging it. So, again, yes. you're going to pay people to Photoshop me. Go ahead. When did I say I was going to fucking pay anyone? I'm not going to fucking pay anyone shit. I just said, if it, if you all think, if you're good at Photoshop and you don't like Gary, feel free to make fun of Gary. And that would be funny. And, you know, first person to get false DMCA'd by Gary, because Gary doesn't understand copyright law, uh, wins. I don't know. Yeah, well, I don't, I'm, I've already done this, I've already been there and done that, okay? So I don't bother DM, DMCAing anymore. We already know where it goes, nowhere. There's no law in this fucking cunt country. You can't protect your property or your rights in this shit-for-brain country because of assholes like you. You're the very goddamn evil, maniacal pieces of shit that have turned this country into an absolute pile of shit. Well, what they'd win, but they'd win something. Um, so... <laughs> When did I say I fucking pay anyone? I'm not paying anyone shit. I really don't. I don't care about being photoshopped. I well, apparently you do, especially since you false DMCA people for it before. Care? Yeah. Well, you said false DMCA again, pedophile. Okay, it's not false if you believe you own your copyright. That's what the federal law says. So you can't even read that federal law correctly. All right, I own my copyright until it's extracted from me through some rightful process. I'm saying fair use is not abuse. If you abuse my material, it's not fair use. Not a complicated argument. You show me the case law that demonstrates where abuse is fair use. Go show me that. About the fact that this just totally eliminates, degrades, fucks anything called rational. Okay? It's goddamn fucking stupid, you asshole. Yeah, it is stupid, uh, and it's not a rational argument, but then again, I never claimed it was. I just like making fun of you, and you have yet to... Right, well, fine, okay, just acknowledge that you're the one who asked for it, so I'm not bitching, I'm just saying, okay, this is the way it goes. So fuck you, fuck you, whiner. Present a Suck it. argument in any of your videos, Anthony, which is why this is going to be the last response I ever make to you. Yeah, but and you have to make it the last response because I'm going to keep nagging the fuck out of you. Where's your five lawyer friends? Where the fuck are they? How much do I have to pay them? Come on. Maybe I'll have a telethon to raise money to give money to your lawyer friends to bribe them out of their fucking little cowering closet. Maybe we can bribe your lawyer friends with maybe $10,000 to show up and explain to us how it's not a catastrophic error for a judge to say you can't argue the Constitution in his court. Huh? Should I do that? Yeah, well, maybe that's why you should run away, though, because, yeah, I'm not going to live that... I'm not going to let you live that lie down, fucker. Christ, I only have about 24 seconds left of your video. <laughs> I mean, you can't figure that out? You can't figure out that the argument from Photoshop is a stupid argument? Well, it is, which is why I've never made it, Gary. And why you seem to be the only one. <laughs> you just stated that you're fine with it and you're going to keep doing it. So what the fuck is this? One who thinks this is an argument about, you know, an argument with Photoshop. You're the only one who's made that claim. I've never claimed uh, them in my arguments. I just do it to make fun of you. Right. Like there is a distinction. Oh, okay. Making fun of somebody isn't an argument. So then what is it? Then, it, then it's even more of a reason why it's not fair use. If you're not claiming to be making some sort of argument or commentary in your photoshopping and you're just doing it to make fun of you, where is make fun of you in copyright law? It show me where you can take somebody's material, mock it, mock them with their material and say I wanted to mock I wanted to mock them and make fun of them and that would be called fair use. No sale shithead. I mean, you might be able to steal somebody's material to mock and make fun of somebody else, but you can't do it to the person you stole it from. Well, of course you can't figure it out. You scum. Scum can't think. Correct, Gary. Scum can't think, and you are, in fact, the best representation of that. Yeah, sorry. I called you scum first. Uh huh. You forgetting. <sighs> I mean, you know, expecting scum to fly. It's <laughs> so silly me. And that is the end of Gary's video, and this will be my very last ever response to Gary, and potentially even my last video, because I'm fucking done at this point, I think. I think I've set out to accomplish everything I've ever really set out to accomplish here. So really, Gary, um, 
there's twenty dollars. Uh, clean yourself up, get the fuck out, and get a fucking cab and go home. Wow, Bye. That's, that, that's kind of like the amazing atheist of the story, like that. You know, he 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 gave us all this wonderful tender story about his father when they went to a restaurant, and uh, you know the the they didn't get their food quick enough, and so they left. And the waiter said when they're going out, well, wait a minute, you know, you ordered shit and blah, blah, blah. And the father pulled a crumpled $20 bill out of his pocket and threw it at the waiter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was such a tender story. I was crying. It was so beautiful. What a beautiful story. Oh, yeah, I love you people. You people are just so fucking spectacular. You're such charming <laughs> punks of shit. Yeah, this is just, yeah, this is, this is an all. Something anybody should be irritated by is what gets one gets associated with, you know, dead people, Holocaust, a little googly eye crap. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can get some little dickhead icons in here for you, fella. I don't know what that looks like. Uh, Avi, whatever. Maybe he's one of your little, you know, <laughs> yeah, one of them. <laughs> um. So what did I want to say last? Let me clean up this mess here. Um. Last thing, oh, summary judgment. You made a big spiel, spiel about it. I gotta figure out what I gotta know. It's, so I thought he was gonna give me some sort of doctoral on summary judgment. So just to explain it again, summary ju judgment is a motion that either party in a trial can file before the trial really gets going. And they just file the motion to basically say the filing party, whoever it is, is basically saying I can prove it. I can prove it. And so they provide a summary judgment motion where they're supposed to decisively prove there's no issues in the case, I'm innocent or they're guilty, whatever one they're doing. There's no way we need to do a trial. This is over. This is done. There's no rational jury could come to any other conclusion but this conclusion. We really don't need to go through this bullshit because this is over. Okay? Decisive. And so that's really the purpose of summary judgment is just to get out of the... It's basically used in most cases for the... The, the accused, the party accused, to basically say, I'm innocent, and here's my proof. Now, they claim to say they're innocent, but they didn't provide any proof whatsoever. There's no argument in their summary judgment argument. Oh, but anyway, God, people are so stupid. So anyway, let's, we got a little time here left, I think. We could go through some of these comments. This video was so long, it made me discover that headphone. Nah, look you. Uh, this asshole seems, after pointing out how Gary just skips around in your videos, he can't stay on topic, it seems he has not only blocked me, of course I blocked you, you fucking idiot. I'm blocked everybody who's commenting on these crap videos. It's on his website. So somebody was making the accusation, apparently, that um, I deleted the video. Yeah, and Mendham wasn't aware, did not come, whatever. So he's, he was accusing me of deleting a video. I never delete videos, so fuck you. I only deleted one video because some woman spent, you know five minutes in a video crying because the poor amazing atheist is really upset by the video. <laughs> the teacher it was really upset. Uh, anyway, uh, where do edible tampons come from? Well, look, it's edible strap-on now, so, you know, you can buy those at any drugstore, I think. Um, smokers are drug addicts. That Does that statement make my butt look fat? Uh, please like me. Thanks in advance. Well, you're just too smart. Better. Oh, that's better Jones guy. That guy's totally insane. So now I got some PMs from him that are just totally whacked. I ought to just make them public because he's such an asshole. <laughs> I just thought I'd bring this up here, but I had my blocked Yagari cherry pop for having pretty much abnormal discussions with what is it? I could reply to him through normal comments, which is pretty shitty. Well, I don't care. Why would I want to comment with you? Why would I have a conversation with you? You're an asshole and an idiot. Fuck you. Die. Um, I don't know this stupid thing. Some Red Rook 4 thing. I don't know what the fuck that is. But, yeah. Uh, Red Rum. Red Rum. Gary makes me feel ashamed to be human and a, uh, and a resident of New Jersey. Fat guy, fat guy, fat guy, fat guy, fat guy, fat guy. Yeah, we don't pay attention to fat people anymore. Fuck the fatties. If you can find their ass, fuck them there. But you probably can't find it. Uh, Gary's not human, he's a smoker. Well, that's funny. Gary can't be this willfully stupid, but sometimes tells me that he can be at least two-thirds this stupid naturally without... Well, whatever. I, I don't know if this guy's blocked, but let's go ahead and find out. Some of these people comment three or four times in a video, which is sort of annoying because this blocking thing is a bitch. You know, they made the blocking thing so you can't really block people quickly. Yeah, he's already blocked, so, yeah, asshole. 
Every time Gary says, fuck you, Matt, take a drink. Okay, whatever, that's cute. You're, yes, take a drink. And then do another drinking video. That's even better, right? Do drinking videos. Just ignore all the people killed. Just ignore the horror that drinking causes. Be pro-alcohol, as you as you point out how nicotine kills people because you have it on your clothes. The smell of the tobacco on your clothes will secondhand assassinate people. I mean, wouldn't that be great, though, if assassins, all they had to do was smoke a cigarette and they'd go across enemy lines and they could walk up to Hitler and just go, and they could kill Hitler with the, the cigarette residue on their shirt? Yeah, that sure would make life easy. <laughs> you people just, just fuck this. Idiot, 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 idiot. Um, so anyway... Uh, you know, the, the Mr. Little uh, Rising Sun flag there. You know, the Japanese people smoke twice as much as Americans, and they have less than half the lung cancer. Isn't that curious? So, in oh, that's already did the peach bullshit. No point. And uh, now they want to. So they want to tax coffee. Let's see Peach's response here. This thought it might be interesting. Let's tax coffee. We do in our restaurant. We're the ones who prepare it. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm not like I'm going to buy coffee there. <laughs> it's for people who can't get off their lazy butt in the morning. Yeah, whatever. Going to your restaurant is for people who can't cook a waffle and put a bunch of fat on it. Yeah, I think most people can do that. Uh, said no one ever. Is that fair justification? Since coffee is a food item and New Jersey does have a sales tax on unprepared food, is it... It's, it's an invalid comparison to something like tobacco, which is a vice. <laughs> right, okay. So I, all, all the food on their menu is grotesque, okay? It's all cheese, fat, just the most, dis it's just junk food. Big, giant, ugly, smelly junk food. So, yeah, you don't exactly, not the kind of food you need just to survive. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, food item and cigarettes. Food items, she calls them. Food items. Yeah, only certain foods. Uh, oh, Chabich, the fat alcoholic. <laughs> I have a contention uh, with the justification of having of taxing something because it's considered a vice. It's taxable because it's a commodity, which is within the realm of acceptable law and custom. Yeah, whatever. There's no custom for um, taxing our um, liberty interests at hundreds of times their value. There's no tradition of that in America. Uh, fuck them ciggers. So that's peach juice in that kind of language. Fuck them ciggers. Ciggers. She used that word. There are going to be vigors too? Wait, 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 we just do, we'll, we'll just, we'll vigor them all or cigar them all? Is that, is that the, the approach? Yeah, that's real sensitive. But fine, I'm I'm perfectly yeah. We can just we we will we will create a new language that way, and everybody will learn a new respect for the real bad N word that way. They'll learn to respect the 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 the, the insidious nature of the N word by walking around going cigar. No. Alker. No, Alker doesn't really work. Jigger. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, this would be really fun. Okay, yeah, let's do that. That'll be really high intelligent behavior. All you have to do is complete jackass to get $20 thrown at you. Yeah, right. So, it's, again, yeah, that was classy as hell. Fuck your rights. Here's 20 bucks. Yeah, well, just, like I said, I can't, I can't have more contempt. Really. I really can't have more contempt. Let's just hope Virginia's on the wrong side of the Mason-Dixon line next time around. I think a frozen tomato would break a window. Well, a regular tomato is almost a pound, right? And you could break a window with a tomato fairly easily, especially a Jersey tomato. I mean, no problem. Um... Let's see, except dealing involved, getting paid $10,000 for a one letter spent five minutes on camera explaining why something was unreasonable. Yeah, exactly. What law firm wouldn't want 10000 bucks for just explaining how I'm an asshole and Judge Cuskin did exactly the right thing by telling me I don't have any constitutional rights in his court? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that'll work. Ugh. 
we got anything rational in here. Skyzer, LOL. Yeah, Skyzer, you, you, you don't deserve much. Uh, Gary's on some sort of high fiber diet. And I didn't say edible tampon, I said unedible tampon. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, I said unedible tampon, just is a really edible tampon. Ew. But it'll be edible strap on instead. Yeah. Gary's main fatal misunderstanding is that he thinks the courts are there to protest and do an in run around the electorate. Oh, please. No, I think the Bill of Rights can't be enforced without a court to go to to get it enforced, you retard. Oh, what a complex comp set. Do you mean you'd have to go to a court to have your rights enforced? They're not just automatically protected, like the good fairy of the 14th Amendment comes down and protects your right, and you don't even need a judge to do it? Oh, God. Well, what do you want from a drunk, fat man? Look at this lizard guy. A whole bunch of stuff here. You lost weight. You're looking great. Yeah, it looks like a butt plug. That's what it looks like. Peach. Peach fuzz butt plug. Oh, there's Piero. Looking to get blocked, I guess. Gary is a lightning rod. Explain the size six of that shit. Whatever that is. Physics, I guess. Except put a space in it. Physics of that shit. Well, whatever, Piero. What are you commenting on this asshole's video for? Oh, that's right, because you're an asshole. Another one of those smokers who started late in life. <laughs> yeah. I mean, fuck you. Yeah. I hope you enjoy your taxes. Paying your three grand a year for a liberty that all Americans should be free to enjoy. <sighs> oh, Firewall 5000. That's the old turd who started with the Adolf Hitler shit long ago. Yeah. He's had quite a brilliant YouTube career. All right, nothing else here, right? Nothing worth my trouble. I, I was the thumbnail from Inherit the Wind. I mean, people can't even recognize. They, they can't even recognize, you know, a movie like, uh, <laughs> you know, like uh, 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 Mockingbird. If you kill a mockingbird, man, that's pretty depressing. All right, so whatever. Inevitable tampon. Inevitable. Well, that's not too bad. Inevitable tampon. Yeah. I think we'll go with the strap on. Oh, that's a funnier image for me. All right, anyway, next time. We're finished. We're completed. We've done our job. Blah, blah, blah. But really, fuck you. I didn't realize cigarette smokers were so dumb. I mean, I knew there was, like, some reason why. Look, we're still, like... There's still like 25 million of us. I mean, if we got off our asses, we could fight for our rights. But they don't. They just sit back and say, fuck me. I mean, you know, I mean, maybe I should quit smoking, but smoking must be incredibly gay or something. But they all, they just all sit in there nursing their sore behinds. Yeah, I can't get it. Just, I don't understand. I mean, there was some aggressive cigarette smokers in New York. I mean, they were fighting the fight. But yeah, I mean, cigarette smokers are just such fucking, you know, useless sacks of shit. I mean, it's a sad truth. They just are. I mean, they really should be able to fight for their rights. 3,000 bucks is just stolen money, and they just take it. Yeah, I mean, it really just gives you no hope, right? It's like when you find out that cowboys were all gay and shit, and you're just like, wow. That's disappointing. Lance Armstrong uses steroids. Oh, gee, that's a little bit creepy. <laughs> you know, I mean, all those ten years of wasted races. I mean, that's kind of stupid. Damn. So, yeah, just another disappointment to pile on the heaps of the disappointments. 